السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وبارك وسلم Dear students, I welcome you all once again to another session of online video lectures. This is lecture number six of the subject principles of auditing. And inshallah, in our today's lecture, we'll have discussion on audit report and its types. And then we'll have discussion on the principles of an audit. This is chapter number three. Uh, these two lectures are from chapter number three, uh, from the principles of auditing subject. Before starting the lecture, I would like to request all of you uh, for the subscri subscription of my channel. This is my YouTube channel. You can see the name and there this is the subscribe button please uh, search uh, this channel on the youtube after you have found it you subscribe to it and then press the bell icon to get automatic notification for every new lecture and every new video that i upload to this channel this channel has uh, uh, lectures on various subjects including beautiful recitation of the holy quran all right so let's begin principles of auditing chapter number three and lecture number six of the video series so um, let's start with our today's lecture which is what is audit report we'll have discussion first on audit report then we'll have discussion on the types of audit reports right so let's begin with audit report what is audit report audit report is basically a formal document a formal report it's a formal report um, issued by an auditor a professional individual a professional person you know who auditor is where the auditor gives an opinion about the validity and reliability of a company's financial statements and usually those financial statements are attached to this audit report right so Audit report comes as a package. There is a report, maybe one or two pages. Then there are uh, attachments to that and attachments are usually the financial statements, usually all four financial statements along with the notes to financial statements. What uh, sometimes there are some financial ratios as well carried out by the auditors. So as in accounting, we have financial statements there are four financial statements that as a result of completing the accounting cycle we have reports with us and those reports are the financial statements or financial reports so the result of audit process is audit report as the result of accounting process is financial statements your financial reports the result of audit process is the audit report so audit report is a formal report issued by a professional auditor where he gives his opinion about on the validity or about the validity and reliability of a company's financial statements right it means that in this report auditor gives opinion whether the financial statements of a company presents true and fair view or not true and fair view true and fair there are two things true and fair true means that, that there is no material misstatement in all these financial statements which are attached to the report 
and fair means that they are prepared according to the international accounting standards or financial reporting standards right so um, there are four types of audit reports it means that when audit process is completed one of these four is issued not all of them but one of these four either the report that received from the auditor will be an unqualified report or unqualified opinion whether that will be a qualified opinion or it will be an adverse opinion or adverse report or it will be a disclaimer of opinion or a disclaimer report one of these four reports is going to be issued and it's based on the opinion of the auditor whatever opinion auditor gives based on that the report gets its name it also um, has a link to the financial statements if the financial statements are true and fair then the report that you will get is going to be accordingly means that looking at the financial statements of a company an accounting record of that company auditor as a result reaches to an a conclusion and gives his opinion and his opinion is going to be one of these four and that opinion will be in form of a report he gives a written opinion which is in form of a report and that report has a specific format a standard format uh, it has its own contents but the report is going to be one of these four right okay so let's start with the first type of audit report I'll first explain what and how each type of audit report is issued and what each type of audit report is and then we'll have discussion on the contents of the audit report then I'll show you uh, a format a standard format of the audit report and then I'll show you uh, a practical audit report issued to one of the companies and we'll have discussion on them and then at the end I'll uh, uh, tell you how uh, we uh, uh, can differentiate between different audit reports means from where we'll know that this is uh, which type of audit report it is an unqualified audit report it's a qualified audit report it's an adverse report or it's a disclaimer so from which part of the report you will get this that this is uh, a specific type of audit report right so let's start <coughs> first we have is let's first talk about the opinion right then we'll have discussion on the uh, types of reports an auditor audit report is basically the opinion of an independent auditor right it's an opinion of the independent auditor And it's about the financial and accounting information maintained in an organization by its accountants. This opinion is in favor of the organization of international account. If international accounting uh, and financial reporting standards has been followed. If the company who is being audited by the auditor has followed the international accounting and financial reporting standards at the time of accounting record keeping and uh, financial reporting then the audit report is going to be in the favor of that organization right the auditor's opinion will be that the financial information and accounting record has uh, or presents fair and true or true and fair information now the question is what stands for auditor's opinion means that why should we believe what auditor tells us and how much should we believe what is the weight of opinion of that auditor well giving opinion basically links back to the person who is giving this opinion 
if the opinion is given by an auditor who is reliable person who has extensive experience in the field of auditing who has a name in in the field of auditing has audited a lot of companies so definitely his opinion is going to have a lot of weight people ha will believe uh, on that uh, on the opinion of that auditor and that auditor could be an individual and that could be a company an audit firm right so auditor only gives his opinion and says whether the accounting information and accounting record organized or kept by an organization whether presents true is true or fair or not that's all but this the weight of this opinion the belief on this opinion is according to the name and fame of the auditor presenting his opinion right the question is why should people believe people has to believe because this the person who is giving this opinion is uh, famous means not famous because um, he has a good marketing strategy no because he has experience he has a lot he has audited a lot of companies is a well known has never uh, confronted with an error has never given a wrong opinion always he has given correct opinion therefore has a positive name in the market so people uh, will strongly believe on the opinion of such type of auditors and audit firms the auditor in his report cannot claim that financial statements do show uh, a true and fair view he can only say that in his opinion the financial statements show true and fair view the reader or user of the financial statement will know from his knowledge of the auditor whether or not to rely on the auditor's opinion if the auditor is known to be independent honest and competent then his opinion will be relied will be well accepted if the reader thinks that auditor is not independent is not honest is not competent this his opinion will not be accepted right so this is just an opinion as i for, uh, earlier discussed auditor gives only opinion now relying on that opinion it gets i mean it has a link to the honesty to the competency to the independence and to a positive name in the market of that auditor right so that's all about the opinion now let's talk about the first type of the audit report the first type of audit report is called unqualified opinion or unqualified audit report or clean opinion or clean audit report right why it's unqualified we why do we say it unqualified we said unqualified because when auditor comes in he uh, systematically reviews and examines your financial accounting record and financial information his job is to find out errors and misrepresentations right if he finds you are qualified in his eyes right and he does not find those errors and misrepresentations right you are unqualified therefore he gives you a clean opinion you are clean from errors from frauds and misrepresentations right so that's the logic be uh, behind the the opinion uh, named unqualified an unqualified audit report or opinion is an audit report that is issued when an auditor determines that each of the financial records financial information accounting record provided by the company is free of any misrepresentations and errors means that all the accounting record all the financial information everything is clean free from errors there is no misrepresentation there is there are there are no errors and there are there is no fraud according to the international uh, accounting and financial reporting standards everything has been reported and recorded so this is 
when auditor gives a clean opinion or unqualified opinion, right? An addition in an unqualified opinion indicates that the financial records have been maintained in accordance with the standards, international standards, auditing and financial reporting standards. International auditing reporting auditing standards are called generally accepted accounting principles. And international financial reporting standards are called international financial reporting standards IFRS. This is the best type of report that a business can receive. Which one? The unqualified report or the clean opinion, right? The next type of the audit reports we have is qualified opinion, right? So it's another situation. It's a situation when a company's financial records have not been maintained in accordance with the generally accepted accounting principles or international financial reporting standards but no misrepresentations are identified an auditor will issue a qualified opinion a qualified opinion in is, is issued when an auditor finds no misrepresentation no error no fraud but he checks that he finds out that the reporting is not according to inter international standards that's why he gives us a qualified opinion there is no fraud there's no misrepresentation everything is correct but what is wrong with the financial statements and accounting record is that they are not according to international standards that's why auditor gives you what an unqualified uh, sorry a qualified opinion right means you are qualified for the revision of uh, your accounting processes they are not according to standards you have to review and bring corrections to your reporting system right the writing of qualified opinion is extremely similar to that of an unqualified opinion both of them are same but unqualified report is the best right and qualified report is better or we can say good there are three stages good better best so the best report that you can ever receive from an auditor is unqualified because it shows that your your accounting information accounting record and financial information is according to standards and there is no fraud in misrepresentation but in qualified case there is no misrepresentation but your uh, reporting is not according to standards it's also a good report but not best right a qualified opinion however will include an additional paragraph that highlights the reason why the audit report is not unqualified the auditor will tell explain what is wrong in the accounting reporting system and due to which uh, he has not issued an unqualified opinion and has issued a qualified opinion right next is adverse adverse is one of the worst right one of the worst one is bad worse and worst good better best bad worse and worst this is one of the worst third degree bad no nobody uh, is willing and happy to uh, receive such type of audit reports right this audit report is issued when the accounting record and financial information of a company is full of errors full of misrepresentations and also do not confirm with international accounting and financial reporting standards neither accounting standards have been uh, uh, observed nor they are clean from errors they are full of errors there is fraud there is misrepresentation and there is no rules at all right so the worst type of audit report that can be issued to a business is adverse opinion. This indicates that the financial uh, record do not confirm to the gap or IFRS. In addition, the financial records provided by the business have been grossly misrepresented. Although this may occur by error, it is often an indication of fraud. When this type of report is issued, a company must correct its financial statements and have it re-audited as investors lenders and other requesting parties will generally not accept it 
When a business is given a adverse opinion, he is there is something wrong with that business. Nobody is going to uh, invest in that business. Nobody will lend money to that business and in, unless the business corrects itself, it removes all the errors and misrepresentations and uh, avoid frauds and, and re-audits all the financial statements until in a qualified or uh, a unqualified report is issued to that right so that is one of the worst report given to a business organization so now you should have known that why an adverse opinion is issued to a business organization an adverse opinion is issued by the auditor when the auditor finds a lot of errors and misrepresentations and frauds in the accounting records and financial information of a company and also if see if 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 there has been no international auditing and financial reporting standards has been uh, uh, has been used uh, to report and to record those financial information and accounting uh, records and also business transactions right then auditor issues an adverse opinion understood so adverse report is one of the worst report reports but which report is the best unqualified which report report is good the qualified report right the fourth type of report that an auditor issues is disclaimer of opinion this is issued when auditor does not reach to a clear in uh, a solid conclusion right when auditor is not sure about the trueness and fairness of the accounting record and financial information of a company then auditor issues a disclaimer of opinion it could be for different reasons one of the reasons could be that auditor uh, is not able to reach to a conclusion because of his sickness because of maybe some other uh, uh, reason right or maybe the information provided to him is not sufficient or not according to his standards so before he 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 he, he says i mean he decides to issue a qualified or unqualified or disclaimer he is not sure what to do in, in this case he issues a disclaimer of opinion disclaimer of opinion this report is neither good n uh, nor bad right understood on some occasions an auditor is unable to complete an accurate audit report this may uh, occur for a variety of reasons such as an absen uh, absence of uh, appropriate financial records when this happens the auditor issues a disclaimer of opinion stating that an opinion of the firm's financial status could not be determined in this such a report auditors say that auditor is not able to determine the, the uh, financial status of a company a clear status of a company uh, therefore, auditor has neither a good opinion nor a bad opinion, right? When such reports are issued to an organization, that organization is required to re-audit its financial statements by another auditor, right? This audit is report is also not accepted by the by the users. Understood? Alright, so that's all about the audit reports. There are four types of audit reports. Once again, unqualified, one of the best report, qualified, good report, adverse, one of the worst reports, and then we have disclaimer of opinion. It's not good, not bad. Right? And also we we discussed when each type of audit report is issued and why each type of audit report is issued now we'll discuss from which part of the report we'll know or we can know we can get that this is what type of report before discussing this let's talk about the contents of the audit report audit report has three parts how many parts three parts the first part is called title the second part is called the body and the third part is called the closing right so the first part typically is title and it talks about uh, 
what type of uh, i mean uh, what type uh, what, uh, what what uh, which years of a company's uh, uh, financial statements have been uh, audited right uh, it talks about that and it talks about whether it's a, if it is an internal audit report or if it is an external audit report the second part of the audit report is the body the body contains usually f four types of paragraphs right or f we can say four parts or four types of paragraphs the first first type of paragraph it could be mostly it's one paragraph sometimes there are two paragraphs in the first part which is called introductory paragraph the second one is management responsibility paragraph sometimes there are two paragraphs sometimes these are one paragraph depends upon the company and complexity of that company the third paragraph is audit responsibility auditor responsibility this is also sometimes one paragraph sometimes two paragraphs and sometimes uh, this part could be more than two paragraphs that fourth part of the body is the auditor's opinion paragraph this is mostly one paragraph but sometimes this could also be two paragraphs so from the fourth paragraph which is auditor's opinion from this paragraph we can determine whether the audit report is qualified whether the audit report is unqualified whether the audit report is adverse whether the audit report is disclaimer from this fourth from this fourth part i'll show you inshallah practically uh, from from one of the other reports that i have then the third part is closing the closing consists the signature uh, the designation and the date of the uh, uh, and, and signed uh, uh, by the auditor or the audit firm right so let me show you a sample audit report first you see this is the sample audit report i'll show you all parts of this audit report this is the title you see this is the title the title of the audit report right which is the i'm sorry this is not the title this is the title right so you see title has what three lines usually independent auditors report to the board of directors and shareholders here the company's name is written company xyz the company whose financial statements have been audited and here the address of the company the company whose financial statements has been audited for example we say uh, we will take the example of salam university suppose if it's the audit report of salam university we'll say independent auditors report to the board of directors and shareholders he'll say salam university right then you'll say the address of salam university will say korla pushta jari gul surh district 4 kabul afghanistan and this is what the title the first part of the audit report now let's talk about the second part the second part consists of four paragraphs paragraph number one which is introduction Paragraph number two, which is management responsibility. Paragraph number three, which is auditor responsibility. And paragraph number four, which is opinion of the auditor. Right? I told you that each of uh, 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 the body contains four parts. These four, four parts could be one or maybe more than one paragraph. You see, the first part of the body, which is introduction, introduction or introductory paragraph, it's only one paragraph the second part the second paragraph it's also one paragraph the third part of the body or auditor responsibility paragraph there are two paragraphs one paragraph here from it's from here to here one paragraph and then we have second paragraph from here to here and then we have third paragraph from here to here so it depends on the complexity in and, uh, and the uh, and the uh, explanation of the auditor and then fourth part in the body of the audit report could be mostly it's one paragraph but sometimes it could be two paragraphs so from this part of the body we can determine whether the audit report is 
unqualified qualified adverse or disclaimer okay so that was part number two the body of the audit report part number three is the closing closing contains signature signature includes the name of the auditor the designation of the auditor and the sign three things name of the auditor designation of the auditor and sign of the auditor and then down there there is the date on the date it is issued right so in first paragraph of the body what's written usually uh, the contents are like this we have ordered the company accompanying a balance sheet of X company as of December 31st 2000 uh, for example 12 13 uh, 12 11 and 10 and related statements of income return earnings and, and cash flow for the years then ended in related notes to the financial statement so from the first paragraph of the body it explains that what were audited by the auditor what financial statements were audited right if it is only balance sheet we write only balance sheet over here if, if uh, all the financial statements are audited then we mention here all of them right and other uh, second part of the body uh, it's management responsibility management responsibility what's written there it's standard format right most mostly these words are written in all the uh, audit reports management is responsible for the preparation of fair financial uh, fair presentation of these financial statements in accordance with accounting principles generally accepted in the united states basically here in this paragraph auditor uh, uh, talks about the requirements what is what he requires from the organization right so if the organization has uh, uh, used international financial report ifrs so here in man responsibility paragraph auditor mentions that that these standards has been used and what the, uh, the company should do should have done or should has uh, sh should do before uh, presenting or before handing over all the accounting record and financial information to the auditor for audit purposes right it's written down there and then our responsibility here auditor talks about his responsibility that what is his responsibility what uh, rules or what standards should he follow while doing audit what procedure should he follow while doing audit what should he do for 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 finding errors for finding fraud and for doing third party confirmations for verifications and voting for examination of the financial statements and accounting records what should they do all the, that story is written down there in the auditor responsibility paragraph right the last paragraph is uh, opinion paragraph this is the paragraph from where uh, we know that this audit this uh, this report is what type of report so if it is written in this paragraph uh, that this these financial statements present fair and true view then we will say that this uh, report is a unqualified report if it is saying that the financial statements does not represent true and fair view then we will say this is adverse opinion report if this says that it's it's true but not fair then we will say it's qualified if it says that the auditor is not able to decide on the trueness and fairness of the financial statements then you will say that this report is a disclaimer report right so here is an example in our opinion the financial statements referred to previously uh, previously present fairly present fairly in all material aspects the financial position uh, uh, financial uh, financial position means the balance sheet the the are the the years are written in result of its operations and cash flow all of them and uh, in conformity with accounting principles generally accepted in the united states so here it says it talk, talks about the the trueness that all material aspects are true everything is true and also everything is fair according to international standards so when such 
information is given in the opinion paragraph will say that this report is a unqualified report right so this was a sample order report one page all other reports are in the same format the pages can be sometimes two sometimes three depending on the number of paragraphs in the body of the audit report now let me show you another this is audit report which contains 18 pages right so it's a complete package the first page you see is a title page there the company which is which has been audited and for which year it's written down there then the company who has audited or the auditor who has audited this company his name is written H HLB Ajaz Tabasum and Co Audit Accountant that's the company who has audited the financial statements of this construction company right so that's the first page title page then the second page down there there is a header and footer as well that con it's contained header and footer as well so in the footer the the the, the, the um, description of the audit firm is given now from here from this page page number two audit report starts so this audit report contains header the header is the name of the audit firm the order the address and the telephone and everything is down, written in the in, in the header of this audit report and in the footer you see the description is given description of what this is the description of the audit firm sometime i mean mostly uh, audit reports uh, does not contain header and footer it depends upon the uh, the auditor whether they have the header and footer in their audit reports or not but the most important thing is from here right the main parts title the body and the closing the other things are extra they can be designed in, in each auditor has its own design these things could be different but the main parts of the audit they are same always every time and everywhere in the world so you see this is the what the title the first part independent artists report on general purpose financial statements right the sh to the shareholders and there's the name of the company ms green world unity consultant company and address couple of one son so that's the title second part body body starts from here it's introduction to paragraph it's man responsibility paragraph it's audit report paragraph and down there in page two we have opinion paragraph that's the body of the audit report see as i show you earlier in the introduction they have seen that uh, which company is has been audited and what financial statements have been audited for for which year it's written then here the responsibility of the company of the construction company written what are what are they responsible for it is written that the, the the financial accounting the financial statements and accounting records should should be maintained according to ifrs right so these standards it means that when auditor audits the financial statements and accounting record they will see the conformity of all of them to the international financial reporting standards besides finding out errors and frauds order responsibility they also mention here what uh, standards they are following to conduct the audit report what are they doing for for third party confirmation and all that how will they do risk assessment etc etc so this audit report can, uh, contains three paragraphs in the audit, audit responsibility part of the body right next opinion paragraph in the opinion paragraph auditor gives the opinion here say you see true and fair when you see financial statements give true and fair view it means that this is this is basically a unqualified report a clean report right if there was that true but not fair we will say that this is a qualified opinion if we see here said neither true nor fair we will say, say that this is an adverse report right if we see uh, we see here that the auditor has ha has not decided on the trueness and fairness of the financial statements then we will say that this is a disclaimer right at the end you can see the, there is a signature this is a signature name of the company chartered accountant it's a designation and they have also signed it and you can see here is the date as well date of issuance so that is the what order report and two pages first page and second page 
but this is a complete package first is a title page then two pages are the audit report from page number three there are financial statements of the company all the financial statements which has been audited you can see then these are the notes to financial statements which has been audited and you see it's duly stamped as well by the audit company and at the end they've also given some ratios analysis you can see right so this is all a complete package of the audit report so this is how audit reports are issued and uh, this is the format and, and look of the uh, audit reports right now let's talk about the general principles of an audit report general principles means that what principles are followed by an auditor while he is conducting an audit the first principle is professional ethics he has he the auditor should be should be a person with 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 high ethics and high moral right he should not be an unethical person he should be a credible person he should have a good image right he should be a, a, a prestigious person right so auditor should have these qualities okay the second principle is independence the auditor should always be independent should not come under the effect of any person he should decide uh, uh, decide uh, on the basis of the facts and figures and without coming under the effect of anyone based on his own judgmental decision and judgmental and decision making power he should decide he should be independent right the third one is integrity integrity means he should be honest he should not be correct the auditor should be honest he should always follow honesty and should not be corrupt in his professional work objectivity he should have objective and objective is to find out errors and fraud and misrepresentations while he performing audit he should not be inobjective he should be objective he should care about his work he should think of his work that this is a very valuable work professional competence and due care he should be professionally competent he should have enough experience enough qualification and he should not be careless he should have required skills he should not be careful he should not be care, care uh, uh, careless he should be very careful right he should properly plan he should properly perform his work he should uh, uh, do everything very properly and professionally number uh number 5 number 6 is confidentiality he should keep the confidentiality to himself he should not disclose the information to somebody else according about the organization that he is auditing even he should not discuss the matters of a company to his wife to anyone who is close to him right he is not allowed to discuss professional behavior auditor should always behave professionally right his uh way of talking his way of going his way of uh, i mean uh gestures and everything you know everything should be professional and it should be legitimate technical standards he should he, he should know tech i mean he should be technically qualified as well he should know about the changes in the international accounting standards he should be Uh, aware of the up updates in the accounting rules and the accounting standards he should be up to date with all the technical knowledge required uh, to carry out audits so these are all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 there are eight principles uh for an auditor to follow while he is conducting an audit and then at the end of conduction of the audit he issues a audit report and audit report we discussed earlier right so that's all for today's lecture thank you so much for being with me we had discussion on audit report then we had discussion on the opinion and the types of audit reports there were four types and then we had discussion on the on the body of the, on the contents of the audit reports there were three contents three parts of the audit report title body and closing and then we had discussion on the principles of audit report audit 
and auditors. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please come back to me. Thank you.